everybody welcome to another tv show read this is double shot at love don't forget to hit that like button comment subscribe and hit that notification bell to catch next week's review so uh this is season two episode 10 oh my god what did Polly say to her so Polly is living his dreams you know he is going to be performing or djing at the um live nightclub excuse me and Polly said the letter nikki gave him was intense they got um at the once they got to Miami, the girls got their own room and the boys got their own room. We could tell that Polly and Nikki really like each other, but Polly's on his kick like, I want to take it slow. Nikki was taking it too fast. She loved really hard, okay? She couldn't help herself. And Nikki wants to walk on eggshells. She kept saying she wants to take it slow. And Vinny needs to stop. Like, ain't Polly about to be 40, okay? And how old is Nikki? Don't you want to find a guy at her own age? No offense, but don't you want to find a guy at her own age? Cause yeah, and Vinny is stuck acting like you know, Nikki always comes on too hard and blah blah blah. And you know, Vinny said that um told Darren like, uh so pretty Ricky got asked um does he have a girlfriend? So I guess Darren has a boyfriend now. And you know they was talking at the table talking about. Do y'all have an ex-girlfriend's menu? Like, we get it. They're your exes. Like, you don't have to keep saying it. Like, that is annoying and frustrating. And then Olivia's back. If you don't remember her, um, she was in uh, the family vacation one. And, you know, he had a girlfriend at the time. I remember this. And he was looking at the girl's booties and everything. He didn't care he had a girlfriend at the time. He didn't want to clear if he get another girlfriend at the time. Probably keep looking. And Maria is getting mad because, you know, they had slept together. She was a sipping. And, you know, she's getting jealous. Like, it's hard. Like, it's probably hard to have sex with a person. And then you start having feelings for them again. And then we look over at Brandon and you see he's crying. Like, what's wrong? And he's like, this is so weird, so real. I remember when I was 21 with my dad. We had came to, I guess, is Miami, Vegas, wherever. And, like, now is I'm sitting like right across from Polly. This is so surreal to me. Then he started crying and started about his upgrade upbringing um, to Polly. And Polly was looking like, "What's going on?" And he said he broke up with his girl right before he came. And you know Maria was doing the thing, trying to grind on the dance floor. And then that turned out into a makeout party. Like Nikki and Polly was making out, and Vinny and Maria was making out. Like, what y'all doing? What the heck are y'all doing? And then Maria was like, Brandon, Marissa wants to have sex. And then um, Brandon said, uh-uh, Leah's not doing this. So they, they kicked him. They kicked the girls out, and they went back. And then the next day, they're all having some fun in the ocean. And I think Polly and Vinny were talking, saying that um, Nikki wants to be all booed up. And Vinny, what's wrong with being all booed up, huh? Do you want to be a loner the rest of your life? Do you not want to have a companion? Like, what's wrong with you? And then, um, he keeps saying that Nikki wants to, um, Polly keeps saying Nikki wants to be his wife, but she never said wife. Just because you got ants, J.Y.L. asked her that question. She was just answering the question. Like, I don't think she's thinking about marriage right now. She just wants to be your girlfriend. She didn't say your wife, so slow your roll. Just because of that, that question that scared you off. You had the lie detector test asking that question in the first season. Like, what's wrong with you? And then um, Suzy was like, you know, there was stingrays. And then she didn't want to be like the guy that uh, hunt the alligators and he died by stingray. Are you talking about Steve Irwin or am I wrong? Like, that's their home. That's where the sea animals live. And then B-Lashes says it's going to take like three hours to get ready. So they go back to the place. And then Polly, no. He's going to tell her right now before it's time to go to the club. So he pulled Nikki to the side. It said that she's coming on too strong. And Polly don't want to move too fast and pick up from where they left off. Left off. She wants to start over, and she said this is her second chance. She'll she'll do whatever. Like, she's not trying to speed it up or anything. And basically, he was saying <clears throat> that her feelings were too intense and scary for him. And then, you know, they went their separate way. And then Nikki, this was so sad because she really likes him. She started crying. Like, 
you made her cry. You broke her heart. And it's like, that's why I think, like I've been saying, like, yes, it would be nice if Nikki and Polly got together. But I also think that Nikki should move on and be with a guy that would actually, you know, would want to be with her. And not trying to pull some, oh, you're, you're, you're moving too fast or, oh, you love too hard. Like, what's wrong with you? But I hope y'all enjoyed this review. Wasn't really nothing to it this week. Maybe next week. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all next week.